So today is the, only the second time during the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, indeed only the second time since Vietnam, that a recipient of the Medal of Honor from an ongoing conflict has been able to accept this medal in person. And we honor a singular act of gallantry. Yet as we near the 10th anniversary of the attacks that thrust our nation into war, this is also an occasion to pay tribute to a soldier and a generation that has borne the burden of our security during a hard decade of sacrifice. I want to take you back to the circumstances that led to this day. Uh, it's May 26, 2008, in the remote east of Afghanistan, near the mountainous border of Pakistan. Helicopters carrying dozens of elite Army Rangers race over the rugged landscape. And their target is an insurgent compound. The mission is high risk. It's broad daylight. The insurgents are heavily armed. But it's considered a risk worth taking because intelligence indicates that a top Al-Qaeda commander is in that compound. Soon, the helicopters touch down, and our Rangers immediately come under fire. Within minutes, Leroy, then a staff sergeant, and another soldier are pushing ahead into a courtyard surrounded by high mud walls. And that's when the enemy opens up with their AK-47s. Leroy is hit in both legs. He's bleeding badly. But he summons the strength to lead the other ranger to cover behind a chicken coop. He radios for support. He hurls a grenade at the enemy giving cover to a third ranger who rushes to their aid. An enemy grenade explodes nearby, wounding Leroy's two comrades. And then a second grenade lands, this time only a few feet away. Now, every human impulse would tell someone to turn away. Every soldier is trained to seek cover. That's what Sergeant Leroy Petrie could have done. Instead, this wounded ranger, this 28-year-old man with his whole life ahead of him, this husband and father of four, did something extraordinary. He lunged forward toward the live grenade. He picked it up. He cocked his arm to throw it back. These are my brothers, family, just like my wife and kids, and you protect the ones you love. And that's what he did that day, when he picked up that grenade and threw it back, just as it exploded. With that selfless act, Leroy saved his two Ranger brothers, and they are with us today. This valor came with a price. The force of the blast took Leroy's right hand. Shrapnel riddled his body. Said one of his teammates, I had never seen someone hurt so bad. So even his fellow rangers were amazed at what Leroy did next. Despite his grievous wounds, he remained calm. He actually put on his own tourniquet. And he continued to lead, directing his team, giving orders, even telling the medics how to treat his wounds. When the fight was won, as he lay in a stretcher being loaded onto a helicopter, one of his teammates came up to shake the hand that Leroy had left. That was the first time I shook the hand of someone who I considered to be a true American hero, that ranger said. Leroy Petrie showed that true heroes still exist and that they're closer than you think.